What it do, what it do, what it do. It's your boy Badger. And it's Maha. And we finally back at it again with another video. And you already know it's a skibbity toilet bah, bah. video, man. Skibbity toilet 60. We had to come back with another skibbity toilet video. And before we get into it, let's give them the verse of the day. First John 1 7. If we walk in the light as he himself is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Amen. All sin. Jesus! They got a new language? What do you mean? You heard them? You think, damn, look at this cat, but they scrap it. Like they used to sing it. Oh. Basically, what we just watched, they they tried to betray, bro. You, you know what I'm saying? You, you want me to rewind it? Mm -mm. Yummy. Yummy. Why are the toilets fighting against each other? I think they tried to betray, bro. So look, you got the betray camera. Betray who? The to, uh, their own toilet master. Okay. So you got the camera. I think they're spying on him. Yeah, they are. So he probably telling them, hey, bro, you ain't got it no more. You really don't got it no more. And mm. the big meal is like, I'm still that dude. Like, I'm really still that dude. He like, you don't got it no more. And you, we going to have to, we going to have to move on from you because mm. we ain't, we tired of listening to you. You ain't got it, sir. Mm. And he was saying, I'm sorry, but you going to have to think. And he said, who you think you talking to? Who you think you talking to? Why you spinning on me? Sorry. But he like, who you think you talking to and saying I don't got it? I'm the leader. And he like, get his tail. Yeah, yeah, get him, get him. Oh we got him, we got him, we got him. Ah. Scientists. That man said, Y'all boys better get back in your place because it would be none of y'all if it wasn't for me. This is actually some good translation, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. All right? Thank you. They say, oh snap, bro, we gotta go. Thank you. Oh, snap. <laughs> Boy, that was scary. And they was like, well, we dead. See you later. And then the TV people like, so this is what's going on. I don't know. We got to figure out what they said. Okay. They want to play games? Let's do it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It done got juicy real God, quick. I'm wild. ready for episode 61 already, y'all. I'm ready already. All right, man. You already know we got to watch ISO Toilet. It's time for a full analysis. I need I'll it. I'll show you all the secrets and hidden moments. Why are the TV men so insensitive? Why did the Astro Toilets want to destroy the G-Man? What yeah. did the big TV man in the Skabidi Toilets say? Yeah. Watch the video I, to the I end so you don't it. miss the best part. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. The series begins in the desert, but it doesn't look like the location from episode 57. It looks more like the ruined map from episode 47. Wow. But there wasn't that thick fog there. It's also definitely not a Skabidi base. It looks like an abandoned airport. Although it's possible that their base is very huge, and this is just the beginning of the whole area. Either way, the Skibidi scientist was somewhere nearby, 
which means the lab is close by too. The more interesting point is that the cameramen are quietly sitting somewhere near the base undetected. Let's figure out how they got so close. From the looks of the location, the Skibidi base is somewhere in the desert, possibly in Africa. Our Titans are traveling through Europe right now. It looks like they're going in a completely different direction. How did direction. they figure that out? Bruh, I think y'all, they people just be saying anything. That could have been in Arizona. The desert in Arizona for all I know. Right? Mm. I'm just saying. We it's still watch your videos though. Yeah, we. I'm just saying though. <laughs> It, it, y'all, sometimes I just feel like they just say in random places. Europe was definitely invaded by the Skibidi toilets, and the Titans have liberated it. What they didn't know was where Skibidi's base was, but they sent a group of cameramen and TV men to keep an eye on G-Man Toilet. And now, as we can see, the G-Toilet is close to the base, and the cameramen are watching him. You ask, how did they follow him so fast? It's simple. They're working with the TV men together. They were teleported on G-Man's trail. And then we come uh, to G-Man's dialogue with Skibidi UFO. I see. We are first shown how they communicate Skibidi with each UFO. other. Instead of words, they use lyrics from their song. <laughs> By the way, oh. Dafu calls these two guys in the video Astro Toilets. It is because of the way they move around. We will discuss this new technology a little later. Skibidi UFO speaks out his displeasure at first. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like that the G toilet allowed the Titan speakerman to be freed from the parasite. They're clearly upset that they spent a lot of effort and resources upgrading Titan, and now he's fighting against them. But as the UFO flies closer, he asks, did G-Man come here alone? How you get that out of that? I, I don't know. I saw toilet. How you get that out of that? I think my translation was. What was your translation? Again? I said he was like, bro, you ain't got it no more. You got to go. We can't have you on our team. I don't know if I heard all of that, though. I heard that. Okay. At this point, Skibidi UFO begins to suspect G-Man of betrayal, and I know why. Most likely, there are sensors placed around the base that detects agents nearby. Ah! That's why we can't see Skibidi's base proper. G-Man flew from Dubai to the base. The cameramen were on his tail, along with the TV men who teleported them. Then, as they approached the base, sensors went off, and the Astro Toilets flew out to check and stop the G-Man. That's exactly what we see in episode 60. So they didn't betray G-Man Toilet. They only suspected him of betraying them. When Skibidi UFO huh? tells G-Man at the end that he is... So he's saying because the cameramen came... And it did their sensors. Mm -hmm. They suspected that, that G Man brought them to mm -hmm. betray them. Mm. Uh, uh, I don't know. Is a traitor. He replies, nip, nip, nip. <laughs> Which is like, no, no, no. But UFO didn't believe him, and together with his friend, decided to destroy G-Man. Yeah, that weren't nice. Notice the emotion on G-Man's face when they about attached to be that thing to his for. head. Yeah. It was like he was paralyzed. <laughs> Notice that the second one has some kind of electrodes on it. Also, these flying Skibidi have something spinning all the time. On the example of Skibidi UFO, I have already explained that it is a coil that generates electricity. Thanks to the stored energy, the UFO can make sudden movements and fly away with breakneck speed. Mm. Apparently, this Skibidi stores energy to electrocute his opponents with these electrodes. I don't know why he waited I think it's designed so to neutralize the Titans. Notice this mutant didn't stab G-Man with a sharp spike, so he didn't intend to destroy him. I think they wanted G-Man to confess and tell the truth about who he brought with him. But G-Man isn't a traitor. Mm. He was just badly wounded and paralyzed, so he didn't notice the cameraman following him. But then we see Skibidi the scientist, and it's crazy. This guy has grown to an incredible size. Yes, you yes. see that G-Man is almost the same height as the Titan cameraman. So now imagine how much bigger this scientist is than all the Titans. Bruh. I already told a theory about who created the toilet G-Man and why he is so huge. My theory was confirmed. It was Skibidi the scientist. Facts. He has the technology to make toilets bigger. And now he's applied it to himself, and he's huge too. Also, my theory that G-Man's no longer the main guy turned out to be true too. Look at that look in his eyes. He's looking at the scientist like a puppy at its master. <laughs> By the way, notice that there are a lot of regular gray toilets around G-Man. At first, they look on with resentment. 
But when Skibidi the scientist comes in and kicks the Astro Toilets away, they start smiling. I think the scientist and G-Toilet are all such good friends. I thought G-Man would want to be the boss, but he probably wasn't the boss ever. He was just the very first huge invention of the Skibidi scientist, mm. which is why the scientist trusts his friend and chases the guards away. I can't tell exactly what these guys are happy about. The fact that the scientist has arrived or that G-Man isn't a traitor and won't be destroyed. But they're probably still under G-Man's command. I think he's kind of a little commander. All the regular toilets obey him, while all the mutants and inventions are under the command of Skibidi the scientist. In episode 17, there were also Skibidi spiders that obeyed the G-Man toilet. This time, they also just stand there and watch. There's a second one standing right there. Yeah. Look at his scared face when he saw the Skibidi scientist. I think these guys were just shocked that their leader was suspected and even wanted to be destroyed. The scientist loves G-Man so much that he rips the mechanical arm off one of the guards. Dang. Eventually, the scientist notices the cameraman that caused all of this to happen. By Dang. the way, I didn't notice it right away, but the scientist appeared out of the smoke, which means he teleported. Oh. This means that, first of all, the base is probably far away. And secondly, he has the ability to monitor other toilets. If you look closely, you can see the windmills in the background. This may help us understand what this okay, map is it. and where the action yeah, is taking place. Mm -hmm. okay, I haven't I figured it, it out yet. Let's analyze all of the improvements of Skibidi Scientist. First of all, he now has electrifying claws like the mutants in the last episodes. Mm. I think that's the latest invention. Facts. Remember that scanner near his left eye? Yeah. Now the scientist has built it right into his eye to make it more protective. Oh boy, the Terminator. I don't know what those things on top are for. Maybe they're aerials to give commands to other mutants. Also down below, we see a really heavy layer of armor around the toilet. These are the speakers he definitely got from Cinema Man. But they've gotten a lot oh. bigger, so the scientist oh, can enlarge anything he wants. By the way, notice how one regular toilet looks at the scientist, but all the others look at G-Man. This proves once again that they obey him. I haven't figured out if the scientist huh? can fly because maybe he has legs that he walks on like Skibidi the octopus. I don't see where that metal piece goes. But anyway, if he's flying, it's very smooth. He stays in the air in one place the whole time. There's a shield on top of the mechanical legs so they can't be broken so easily. And there's a cannon next to the eyes, which he used to destroy the cameramen. I think that the scanner in the eye makes it easier to aim at enemies. By the way, okay. the cameramen gave each other thumbs up. I think their mission was accomplished anyway, because they followed G-Man and learned a lot of information. But they didn't just learn it, they passed it on to the TV men. This is the first time it's shown, but the big TV man was streaming everything the POV cameraman saw. Facts. A lot of things have become clear to me now. The TV men don't fight because there aren't many of them, and they have to show the scientists at the agent base what's going on. But at the same time, the TV men themselves see everything that happens with the cameramen. Imagine them watching thousands of deaths every day. Mm. Now it makes sense to me about why they're so unemotional and senseless. Dang. Now let's hear what this TV man had to say. Press F to pay respects. Press F yeah, guys, press F. Those cameramen really got a lot of information. But now we know that regular cameramen are mainly used for information transfer. They're weak in combat against huge mutants, but thanks to them, the cameraman scientists can find out where the new Skibidi toilets are. Listen to this moment carefully, by the way. Is it just me, or did G-Man say Seuss? Besides being funny, it doesn't sound like the lyrics of the song. It's like they're I mastering speech things. and will soon learn to speak. Well. Except only TV men can do that. At the same time, Skibidi has gotten almost all of their technology, and it still remains suspicious. Before the scientist fires, we again see a newspaper on the roof with some man's face on it. Mm. Just like in past episodes. Oh. Perhaps in addition to the Dafu oh. character, we will see another agent. After destroying the cameramen, we see G-Man and Skibidi scientist approaching. This is a reference to episode 47, where Dafuk approached to pick up the camera of the destroyed agent. Well, at the end, we see Titan cameraman clearly showing that he's ready to fight on. Mm. A lot of helicopter speakers have appeared around. Hopefully, we will see them in action in the next episodes. Now, that was good. Um, I will say some of the stuff, you know, at the end of the day, this is analysis. Mm -hmm. So this is what he thinks. But I think my interpretation of what they were saying was correct. Okay. No shot on Isotola. You know, we love his stuff. You know what I'm saying? But I think what I was saying 
was more right. I think I gave a way better translation. Don't you think, baby? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Say yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Told you I'm right. I'm smart. Mm-hmm. I'm the smartest skippity toilet in the ever. in the world. Ever. Right? Ever. I'm better than all of them. Mm-hmm. You ain't even gotta watch ISO toilet no more. Mm-mm. I just do it myself. Mm-hmm. Yes, you can. All by yourself. I'm still gonna watch it though. <laughs> But what you think about that episode? Um, I didn't realize that they were spying on the G toilet people. Yeah, they were. But spying. I think it's messed up that the toilets were fighting against each other. Yeah, it's crazy. They that's how you know their community is coming to a downfall. Yeah, they're spiraling. So we're gonna see. But right now, it looked like the scientist is the strongest person. I think the scientist might go up against the um, Titan. Mm-hmm. Speaker man and whoever. yeah, we gonna see what happened though. Science, bro, where's Plunger Man? I don't know. They forgot about him. Look, this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna tell y'all predict this right now, and then we gonna go. The scientist is gonna somehow beat out both of the giant, both of the titans, and it's gonna take the Plunger Man to save both of them or something to return this whole thing around. I'm telling y'all, I got money that Camera Plunger Man is going to be the hero of this entire series. Where's the agent in all of this? I feel like the he just watching come it. up. He just watching it all. Mm. He just watching it all. But hey, that was a good episode. You mm-hmm. think so? Sure. Hey, I'm excited for 61. 61 about to be lit. It's about to go down. Let get it. But yeah, man, that was it. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification button, and we'll see you next time. Yes, sir. AG, 2G, all glory to God. Peace out.